we have this table available, we have some cards. Uh, would you like to like to show anything sure. or do anything? Oh yeah, you have a deck of cards there for yourself, right? I do. Shuffle them up. All right, we'll see this how how amateur the shuffle can be here. Yeah, you just I can barely you... shuffle with two hands. Well, then use one. Yeah, I just showed you. How. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Switch decks with me. All right. Okay. Here you go. Now. In poker, you've heard of like wild cards, like deuces are wild. Uh, baseball have multiple wild cards. Yes. Other games, so just cut a card. That would be the wild card. Just cut off half the deck. I'm going to move. There's one card left over oh, here. Oh, yeah. I can put, move. Please put, put it on my deck. Or? Yes. Yeah, all right. There we go. Okay. Just cut the deck in half here. All right. Tell me when you got it. Don't okay. And just to make it more random, just say any random number: three, four, five, seven, anything you want. Six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's that card? Queen of Diamonds. So the Queens will be the wild card, okay? Now you just shuffle these cards, right? I did. Now have you ever played poker for money? And let me ask this. Have you ever played in a casino? Or have you ever wondered, when I, I play in a casino, I am have, I getting conned? I have lost in a casino. Okay, so that, <laughs> that thought has crossed your mind. Am I getting conned? <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to show you. You just handed me a randomized deck, and I'm going to do this in an interesting way. In the high-state games, they'll cut between every shuffle, because that buries the top and bottom halves of the deck. I'll give the deck a little riffle, and they will, people like to cascade the cards into them. Give a cut. So I'm telling you what I'm doing as I do it, and I shuffle. Mm -hmm. Did everything look legit? Looked legit. And not a move you saw was. So you're already in trouble. Now I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. Not a move I saw. Was, was honest. Not a one. Okay. Not a one. Now I'll show you how fast I could uncut that deck. What's that card? That is the two of clubs. The two of clubs. So they'll pass the deck to the right to be cut, and now the deck is no longer cut. So two still on top? <laughs> watch again. Now watch again. I'm showing you how fast I can uncut the deck. The deck is no longer cut. Yeah. And that was about a half a second. Yeah. Now, you've heard of Texas Hold'em. I have, yeah. Okay, well, we'll deal a hand of Hold'em. And in Hold'em, they have what's called a cut card or a burnt card. They put a card, the deck on a face-up card. Now, after the fact, you're going to tell me, keep everything off the table here, give me a full okay. table here. All right. After the fact, you're going to tell me how many people step up to my Hold'em table. Let's pick a number five or six because we don't have a lot of room. Uh, five. Five players. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, burn, and we always call the flop. And what are those three cards? You got the king of hearts, the two of hearts, and the queen of clubs. And the deuces are not wild, but we did see the queens was your card. Mm -hmm. And so that means there's a pair of kings on the table. There's a burn and a turn. What's that card? That's a king of Burn and turn. So right now we have three kings because the queen is a wild card. What's that card? That's a queen. Right now we have four kings. Let's get rid of our burnt card. And you're my partner sitting over here in hand number five. Let's see what you have in the pocket. What's that? That's a queen. What's that? That's a queen. So in the poker, you would have uh, five of a kind, five kings, or you'd have a, a royal flush, uh, depending on how you wanted to play the hand. In other words, you killed them. Yeah. Slaughtered them, beat them, <laughs> whipped them big time. Okay. Amazing. Now, shuffle that deck. Okay. I'll, do, I'll, I'll show you how far I can push the envelope. All right. So I'll shuffle this one. I think, I think we got two cards that In got turned deck. up on that one. Okay. Um, That's your job. You make sure right. that one's all legitimate. Yep. Okay. And then right. I'll switch with you. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. And you can make sure everything's legitimate on that one. Yep. All right. We'll give the deck a cut. And we'll play my favorite game, Seven Card Stud. And this will take a couple of minutes to unfold, but it's interesting. Now, we have a deck of cards shuffled by Tim. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll say with the same number of players. Well, let's, you choose four players or five. You choose. Four. Where do you want to sit? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? I'll be number one. Number one, right out of the chute. I'm getting ready. To, I'm dealing a card in slow motion to hand number one. Mm -hmm. Before I continue, take these deck, this deck, uh -huh. mix them up. Don't give me the whole deck back. Just pull out any random part of that deck and put them in my hands. Just do something quick and just, just put a stack. Just a couple of cards. No, well, more oh. than a couple, but enough to get around. Just a stack. Okay. So go. I'm going to work with whatever you give me, okay? Tim just handed me back a random stack of cards. We're playing, dealing a card to play on hand number two, player number three, and player number four. Mm -hmm. You're number one. Slow motion. Watch carefully. There's your card. And we go player two, three, four. Now we have what are called the door cards, which means the face-up cards. What's that card? Jack of Spades. Jack, one, player two, player three, player four. You're number one. What's that card? Ace of Clubs. Two, number three, number four. You're number one. What's that card? 
ace of diamonds. Oh, here, mix them up, mix them up, mix them up some more. Mix up the entire deck? Whatever, you're the boss. Okay. And just have any part of that deck you want. So you're doing everything you can to screw things up. <laughs> okay, and you just, okay, that's like five cards less than the last time you had me. Okay, we have player two, player three, player four. And so far we have three cards face up, yes? That's right. Mm -hmm. And what's that card? It's Queen of Diamonds. Wild card. What, do, do it again, mix them up, have me any part of the deck you want. So you're shuffling, cutting, mm -hmm. you, choose how, you chose how many players, you chose where you want to sit, you hand me any random part of the deck, oh my gosh, getting stingy. Down to six cards, player two, player three, player four, and we have what's called down and dirty. I'm now dealing a card off the top to, to uh, Tim's first position, two, three, four, put that with the rest of the stack. Okay. Now let's see what you have in your hand. We're playing seven card stud, high Chicago. That means high spade and the whole splits the money. All right. So let's see what you have. What's that card? Queen of diamonds. That's a queen, a wild card. So we'll put it over here in the, what's that? Ace of diamonds. That would be a pair of aces because the queen's wild. What's that? Ace of clubs. That equals three aces. What's that? This is uh, jack of spades. Jack. What's that? That's a ten of spades. Ten. Ten jack ace. What's that? That is the queen of spades. Another wild card. So right now you have four, two aces and two queens, right? That's right. Okay. So you right now, in, in, that would equal four aces. In the best possible hand in wild card is five aces. We're playing high spade and the whole splits the pot. What's that? That's <laughs> ace. Ace of, ace of spades. Ace. Five aces. The best possible hand you can get in poker is five aces. You shuffled. You cut. You chose how many players you wanted, you chose where you wanted to sit, and you me kept mixing them up, yeah. and you didn't even give me a full deck. So you could honestly say, that Turner doesn't play with a full deck. <laughs> that Turner does not play with a full deck. That's and yet amazing. I dealt you the perfect hand in poker. <laughs> that's so, incredible. Okay. <laughs> that's regrettable? It's incredible. Oh, that's better. That's yeah, better. Yeah, 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 incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, man. That's regrettable. Amazing. All right. But that shows you how far I can yeah. push. And that particular thing to be, mm -hmm. I, and I know this, I, and I don't mean to sound boastful, because it's hard to talk about when you're asking people, asking questions about yourself. It's hard to talk about yourself and not sound bad. Uh, but Vernon, when he first saw me do that, I said, Professor, what do you think about combining this and this and this? And he goes, Roger, you can't do it. Not, not possible. It can't, it can't be done. Yeah. And I said, oh. He said, he said, you can't do it because three reasons. One, your brain can't res re respond that fast. Your hands cannot be that sensitive, and you would break rhythm. Put, mm -hmm. those, put those all cards back together from the deck. Okay? He said, that's not possible. And I, I were at the Magic Castle, and for 10 minutes, I sat there. But he was sitting at the bar, and I was standing next to him, and I was depressed. For 10 minutes, I sat there and go, this is the ultimate. This is the perfect way. This is the... And I thought... And he said, it can't be done. And then all of a sudden I remembered, but I can do it. I said, Professor, come watch my show. <laughs> and he came out of the show after we goes, Roger, what the hell are you doing right now? I don't understand what the hell you were doing. I said, remember when you said you can't combine this and this? That's what I'm doing. I don't understand how the hell you can do that. And he goes, Max, Max, come here, watch this, watch this. And everybody, for the next 18 months, every time I was there, he'd have me shuffle the cards. How many players do you want? Where do you want to sit? Watch this, watch it, and he, over and over. And two years later, he goes, I don't understand how the hell you can do that. 